So yeah, I mean, what what do you like? How do you generally approach it? I mean, we spoke a little bit the other day about like some some of what you kind of have in mind, but like, what's your sort of general approach or thinking about improv? Good. So improv for me, uh, I think we talked about it years ago. Like writing music was improv, right? Because that's that's what I knew to do. Mm-hmm. So rather than write. Uh, like long ago, it was rather than learning tunes like covers to learn stuff or have some kind of a formal guitar education, I just had like a little bit. And then practicing, like my thought was, I didn't want to fucking practice. <laughs> I didn't want to learn other people's tunes because I could be writing my own tunes in the meantime. Right? Mm-hmm. So I don't recommend that <laughs> to everybody. Mm-hmm. Uh, so like like I guess the traditional idea of improving like in let's say blues or jazz like I did some bluesy and stuff but hmm. and forget about jazz it was it's still too hard for me I can't fucking like I didn't learn a scale until about like really until about a decade ago right hmm. like so that is difficult it's it's something else right so improv to me was improving on the guitar and then if I liked something I was like oh shit like this is a tune now. So it went from improv, like kind of whatever that is, whatever's going through your mind, and then something comes out of it. You get like a little nugget of goodness, and you're like, all right. And then you take that and you you put together other little nuggets of goodness that came from that other improvs or that one. Mm-hmm. And that become, that was writing and making music for me. So like in general, I guess like for you, it's more... So, when, so for example, when jazzers would say improv, I didn't know what the fuck they meant because... I took like it, it is improv but like to me it wasn't improv for a long time because I was like you're just playing scales over chords that you already know and doing these things obviously there's more to it than that especially in a live situation hmm. but I guess in my mind free improv was free improv like go like do something impress me you know or really the idea is you know you, you play and you play until something good comes out of it or something that you like. But the concept of, I guess, free improv, like, or just improving, like, maybe in in, in the sense that you mean, uh, yeah. I have no idea what the question was. (laughs) I mean, I guess it's one of the things, like, where, like, I kind of have a a view and thought about, like, what I I think improv is, but part of the, like, the, not fun, that's not a good word here, but, like, the enjoyment of doing things like this is that not everybody thinks the same thing, you know? Right. So, like, in part of the playing and in part of obviously this talking is coming to kind of terms with what we mean and what we sort of yeah. do and, and yeah. where those things come together. Okay. So yeah, here it was, it was kind of, um, I guess like a lot of things, a lot of sections, a lot of bits, a lot of chunks, a lot of, yeah. Yeah. So like, it, it, I guess in negotiating that, like, is that, uh, I mean, I guess maybe like it's a question around the idea of, development and structure maybe like but those are kind of funky weirds we're here but like like you sort of have like the idea a idea b idea c idea e idea f you know and so on i skipped a letter in there um but yeah like how do you how do you like negotiate that are you just sort of like next 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 like what's your like thinking on that Hmm. i'm trying to um, i guess i'm trying to figure out where it could go naturally naturally meaning like whatever i started with to just kind of grow it and mm-hmm. change it. Um, but I don't, you know, I guess I guess I get lost in the mix, you know. And that, for me, that's the, I think, the best part is to get completely lost. So that I'm not thinking about it. So, you know, I think I was thinking about stuff sometimes here. Stuff meaning like... Like, like what I'm going to do now. Okay, yeah. And going, okay, like, uh, uh, I've been doing this for a while. I'm fucking bored with it. And now I need to do something else. As opposed to letting it maybe sit a little longer and and just approach it simply and then grow it, which I've done before. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, in in that sense there, like, out of curiosity, like, what is... So, like, not sitting on something too long, but uh, what is, like, sitting on something too short? So, for example, like, I... I kind of like like sort of jittery, quickie movie things where yeah. it, like nothing sits almost. Yes. Yeah. So like you're talking about like having something sit, but then maybe not too much. But then I guess is there a too little as well? Uh, I mean, there probably is, and that, and that's I guess it might be subjective. 
Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, if if I could just... Uh, the idea would be to just, like, play and let it come out and not worry about it. I think that's the main thing that I want to do. Um, a square head is not an easy guitar to play. No. <laughs> so my hands are like, fuck. Ow. Um, but even still, like, given the, the difficulty that the guitar has built in, you know, I could slow it down and not try to be so acrobatic about things, mm -hmm. which is where I ended up eating shit. Just like, oh! And then like, yeah. So, but but that in itself, if it's a completely sort of free thing where I'm, we're just flowing, that's fun. Like, I like it, right? Um, uh, yeah, I, I think ultimately the, the improv for me means being creative spontaneously, doing the best you can or not, and accepting whatever happens, and then just flow. Um, my experience, you know, playing by myself, whether I was trying to write music or just actually just playing, that's the best, that's the most enjoyable to me. Hmm. Right, because it's not, I have no judgment. I'm just flowing and going and going and then just letting it happen. Um, but there's something else. There's like a... Hmm. I can't think of the word. Or um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to describe. There's, there's, there's like a... There is a there is a building right. There is a a, a direction. And a momentum I, or something. Yeah, like a momentum, and it's more than just dynamics, and it's more than just complicated. It's it's kind of like. The thing has a, a breath, right? It has a whatever you're doing has a breath, and it kind of goes up and down, and then you're out. You know, and I think some of the reasons why I, I sometimes get caught thinking, like I feel myself thinking. This is, is a bad thing, like in, in the sense that you mean, like I'm yeah, I think it's a bad thing, like yeah. it's or it's not ideal. Okay, it's just something that happens, and then you have to like fucking accept it that you're thinking and you're not flowing, and that's you know fuck it. But uh, ideally, I want to construct something in a way, right? Although it's not forced, so that you get a complete. Just a complete breath. It feels like if I if I'm thinking I'm not, and then I get stuck, right? Uh, oh, but just breathe out. Hmm. That's that's kind of the motion I want in a very simplistic way. Whatever I'm doing, if I'm improv, like just improv, like to kind of go with that. I don't think I have that. You know, I think it's still like in you or in like I don't think I've a, or in, in general. I don't think I've accomplished that okay. necessarily. Right, like it happens like the in spurts. Or whatever, like. <laughs> yeah, there's like a thing, but 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 it is. It, it, there is a thing of just of just flowing. That that's again, create being creative on the spot is improv for me. And then, but you have to. I feel like I have to not be in the moment as much. Like be out. Does that make sense at all? Like consciousness, like maybe subconscious. Is yeah, there's a there's a there's a whatever that is. There's like a a place that's for me more comfortable and then and then whatever comes from there is easier mm -hmm. in the sense that it's I'm letting it breathe and I'm, it's going out and the duration can vary right because I may have something and then you know go into something else but as long as that short one is complete then it isn't too short or the long one is complete it isn't too long more importantly what I was trying to say before when I get caught thinking um you know, and the and then like the different ideas, you know, that in itself creates some kind of a structure, yeah, yeah. some kind of a feel. Um, yeah, I think I don't know. I don't know. Do you have another question? <laughs> I mean, I, I guess one other thing that I'm kind of curious about is that in this in this sort of um, view of flow and state, so yeah, like um, it's just a like a almost a mindfulness of of creating material. Yep. Um, how do you think about, or do you think about? Um, actively or, or otherwise like conclusions like does that process so if you're in a flow state you're yeah. coming material ideas are coming do you then 
just stop at some point? Like, how does conclusion happen? Yeah, I mean, sometimes it's... I have my phone rings. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and then, yeah, sometimes you're... Whatever you're doing, it, it, it feels complete, or I can't complete it. Mm-hmm. Right, if I'm writing, and it's kind of an improv thing. And then I just have to remember it and, and pick it up again later, right? To, to then say, well, is this complete? So what does that mean in the context of, let's say, like a, a performative improv, like imp- improv okay. performance, like where that's not so readily. So readily. So how yeah. do we, how do we judge? Not so much judge, but like, how do you, how do you. Interpret finished? No, not finished, but like, like, I mean, maybe like. A complete thought? No. So let's say like, like you're improvising, but on stage or something. Yeah. And, and the, so like the idea of like picking it up and coming back later doesn't really. Doesn't matter. apply. Right. Right. So how do you do to complete this on stage live? Yeah. Or like, how, what do you think about that? Not, not so much like, uh, like. <laughs> it's not complete. An improv is never complete, I suppose. Okay. That, yeah. Right. That's that would like, be, that would be my answer. Yeah. 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 It's just like the, uh, an eternal breath or whatever. It's an eternal breath in yeah. that case. Yeah. There's yeah. little breaths, but the, yeah, it's eternal. Hmm. And then I suppose that there, so like, you know, sometimes I'm thinking shapes when I'm improving shapes on the guitar. Shapes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There could be a shape and a structure, mm-hmm. but that's that takes a little more work to sort of like you know um, uh, you know it could be a dynamic structure right quiet to lo- to loud and then a, a palindrome. Mm-hmm. It could be uh, a texture. I'm looking for a texture. Today it was you know I'm, I'm not as familiar with these pedals, so I didn't have a lot of things to draw. So so when I'm untuning the guitar, I'm looking for texture. I'm not looking for for technique, or I'm not looking for riffs or melody i'm just it's a texture and then like so then the, you sometimes i go back i don't know if you know sometimes i go back to a certain thing because hmm. that was the texture that i liked from before you know it's usually not super complicated so i'm, I'm doing something that's relatively simple on the guitar i can go back to it and then contrast that texture to the one i played before, you know after the previous one if i think it'll sound good sometimes it does right. sometimes it does <laughs> both of those are okay yeah, yeah. Um, that's it I, I think uh, you know the, the shapes are important the textures are important on the nylon uh, like on a regularly tuned guitar now it's easier for me to hear some harmonies because I know you know the chords and the things like that whereas on, on another guitar it's kind of like I guess no, that's part of the that's part the of yeah, that's yeah. part of the idea of the tuning it's like uh, an alternate tuning or just untuning the guitar or I only untune one string because we're gonna have to play that guitar later. Yeah, I did not want to go through the nightmare. Mm-hmm. Yeah, untuning the guitar, the guitar completely now just puts you in an alien place, which I like. Mm-hmm. Right, and that was the initial uh, inspiration—not inspiration, but like the usefulness of the untuned guitar or an alternate tuning guitar, because I didn't know where anything was, so it was fun to look for it. Mm-hmm. Um, plus, it made certain things easier, as you know. Is it? I think. Yeah.
single grain of salt? No. We hide a salt. Like a salt? No. We hide a salt. What do we assault? <coughs> we assault the earth. Salt the ocean, and we assault the butter. We assault the butter as it turns. 
we are sorry. We choose a side. <coughs> we choose a side to assault. A grain of salt. Every person is a grain of salt. Every salt is a person. <coughs> You hide the salt. You hide the salt. 